Welcome everyone, you may be in a situation where you have your iPod Touch and you forgot the passcode. I'm going to show you uh, Apple steps which will teach you how to remove the passcode even without you knowing it. So keep in mind this comes from Apple directly or on their Apple support website. I'll leave it in the description if you hate me and you don't want to listen to what I have to say. However, I recommend you watch this guide from start to end and by the end the passcode will be removed. So a quick disclaimer is that you needed to have owned this iPod Touch in order for this tutorial to work without any issues. So if you bought this from eBay and there was a passcode already on the iPod Touch or you're planning on buying an iPod from eBay which has the passcode because it's going to be cheaper, this tutorial will not work for you. Uh, also, if you stole this iPod, I don't think anyone in 2022 is stealing the iPod Touch, but let's just say you are, right? This tutorial will not work either. Uh, again, uh, it'll be quite clear why later on in this video. You had to have owned this iPod Touch in order for this tutorial to work. So the first step is you're going to need to plug in your iPod Touch uh, to the computer. And once you've done this, you're going to need to enter into recovery mode. So I, I will have a dedicated tutorial on how to do that in the description. You want to watch this uh, that guide, then come back to this guide. So once you're in recovery mode, I'm going to move to my computer and I'm going to show you the next steps you need to take on the computer directly in order to erase this passcode. And then by the end, you'll be able to set your own one, which hopefully you can remember. Once you're in recovery mode, you can see right here, the next step is you need to make sure iTunes is downloaded. I'll have the download in the description. Uh, it's the official Apple website you can see. So you just want to scroll down here until you see looking for other versions, Windows, and make sure you click on this one. Download iTunes for Windows now 64-bit. Don't download from the Microsoft Store. Download this one right here. So once you've downloaded this one, you just want to open up the iTunes application like so. Now, if you have a Mac, you don't need to download iTunes at all. Instead, you open up the Finder app, then select the iPod. And you're going to see this message here. There is a problem with the iPod Touch. What you're going to do is you see this Restore button, you're going to click on the Restore button. Now, if you accidentally close out this message, just click on the X, then Restore iPods. And what it's going to do is you're going to see this message here. Just click on Restore and Update. This will take a couple of hours, guys. So it'll take a couple of hours. So what it's going to do is it's going to download the latest firmware file for the iPod Touch. This is around five to six gigs, so uh, it may take a couple of hours for that to download. Then once that's downloaded, it's gonna flash that firmware file onto your iPod. Now, if your internet is unstable, this download may fail, so it may take multiple attempts of clicking on the restore iPod in order to get this working. And then once that's done, you can be brought back to the setup screen. And in the setup screen, you can set up your iPod Touch like normal. Now, if you watch this far, one very important thing to note is when you restore the iPod Touch, if you do not know the Apple ID password, which will set on the iPod Touch, you'll be locked out of it for good. Just that's just something really important to keep in mind. So just make sure if you follow this process that you do remember the password to your Apple ID. Uh, if you don't remember it, then you're kind of screwed. You, you know, regardless, you're either uh, on the you know disabled screen or you're going to be on the activation screen. So that's just one thing to keep in mind. But with that being said, thanks for watching. See you guys later. Bye bye.